10. Give the shape that describes each hybrid orbital set, and then we have sp here. So I guess when it says give the shape, we just have to draw the shape. So let's go down to it. The easiest way to do this is to just count up how many letters you have here. So in this case, it's just an S and a P. So you have just an S and a P. So you have two total letters. These letters represent the total amount of orbitals, one S and one P, that are going to be binding in your covalent molecule. So let's just say that we have one central atom, right? Whoever this atom is, it doesn't matter, but that's the nucleus. And generally, when we draw hybrid orbitals, it's always catered in t terms of a, um, a circle here. So I'm just kind of giving myself a guide to draw. Now, I have to basically put two orbitals. They're basically equivalent to each other because they're hybrid. One's an S, one's a P. But I have to put two total hybrids in a circle, which is 100, sorry, which is 360 degrees. How am I going to divvy up two orbitals equally? Yeah, you got it, right? If a, if a total of a circle is 360, I could just cut that in half to get, to get my angles to be 180. And that's exactly what the SP hybrid does. I have one going on this side and one going on this side. One's an S and one's a P. I could take that away and now I can just draw, right? So here is what my SP hybrid looks like. And the bond angles between them is, you guessed it, 180. I will draw that after I'm done making this all nice and pretty. And so here to here is 180 degrees. And from the bottom as well, it's 180 degrees. Now, just to show you a real life example, if I have like HCN, Right, I have H, that's a single bond with the carbon that has a triple bond to a nitrogen. The central atom, carbon, is the atom that is here. Because you have one orbital, you have one thing on the left side, and even though you have a triple bond on the other side, it's still classified as one orbital. So you got one hybrid orbital on your left-hand side. You got one hybrid orbital on your uh, right-hand side. So the carbon would be the center. So it's got the one and the three. And that's basically what it is. So this, this angle would also be 180 degrees, just to kind of show you like a real-life example. But that's all that it is, guys. Nothing easier than an SP. That's the most simplest hybrid orbital. All right. So I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel and I hope you're doing a great job, you know, studying and doing well in your tests and quizzes. I will talk to you soon. All right. Bye-bye.